You would like to? <laughs> you Maybe I'd like to. We were just talking about... Cutting his hair. Cutting my hair. Because it's, it's time, because it was uh, well, last fall, I think, last time I got a haircut. It was. It was. Probably October. How much about this is set up that you can also leave comments, just like this silly channel is. Why? Because, all right, so we put up a, my vlog, finally, and then I was like, no one's leaving comments, I'm kind of sad. And then I looked and it was like, oh, it's set up to disable comments. Don't know why, because I just did like the standard. So I undid it and said, you can have comments, and then someone left a comment and I was all happy. And then I went and checked again and no one left comments because it said, comments are disabled. Again, and I was like, no one's touched this thing. Comments are, no, see? Okay, that's, that's good. commenting. Never mind. Okay. I'm just so like panicking about comments now because of my little blog that I love so much, but. Didn't so that was a fake panic. No, it was real for the blog. I mean, right because, now. Oh yeah, maybe. Right? But yeah, sure. But for the. Presumably, unless. No, let's see this works. Okay. But for, oh, I don't want no one to hear the clicks. Um, click, click, click. But for the vlog, it was real. I get back in here. I don't know. And I was so sad. Why do you let me touch things? That's a problem, but I don't know why. So apparently when you upload videos now, somehow our setting keeps reverting back to like, you can't leave comments. And I was like, why? I just fixed it. I've had to fix it three times on my vlog for Cremona and company. And that's just obnoxious to me. How's this? Is this also obnoxious? No, that's just you. No? It's a big week. Yeah. So, I also, does anyone else feel like this is closer than normal? I think it is, and Matt told me I'm wrong, that it's always this close. This is usually like what kind of framing we usually have, because that thing is like always this big. My, no, I feel like it's not that big. I feel like, first of all, the fact that you can cover it, we're in a different spot. I know, we're slightly we're like that way. Or something, I don't know. Anyway. I'm going to open this. So what are we drinking? This is Prosecco, like we have so many times. You know, I think people are going to ask me, like, are we going to start taking this seriously? I think maybe we will someday. Take what seriously? The show. I don't know if people want us to. I get the impression that, like, they don't. Do you uh, want to? That's, forget what other people. Well, that's not. You should. I personally think you should be thinking about your audience, but, <laughs> like, for everything. Regardless. So I'm considering maybe taking this more seriously. Yeah, he takes it the least seriously of the two of us. Yes. I would say that's fair, right? Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's what it started out as being like, let's just like do this for fun. Mm -hmm. And now we've literally done it for a year. I uh, know. We should actually figure out the date because it was in May. Basically, it's been a year. We've done this yeah. like, at least 50 times, or close to 50 well, times. Probably 40. Oh, so at this point, it's like, the thing. do we like lean into it? It's your call. It's yeah. your channel. I would put it on mine, but no one will watch it. <laughs> There's like, I don't have, like, because for good reason, people stopped like subscribing to Cremona and Company because no, they're like, you, you don't put like stuff on it. You got new subscribers last month. What? Really? See, that's how much, I don't even know how to look at that. So. Are you signing? See, G, like, she's right. Jenny? If this sh Jenny and Davis, if this show gets serious, we're leaving. Yeah, they would. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They know it. <laughs> they're like, we're all, we're all business over here. Right. Brad, don't change a thing. Maybe just be more serious about actually doing it. I think, well, I started, well, it's kind of funny because I started kind of serious about it. Like, I used to, like, make the notes. Mm -hmm. I, I don't do that anymore. Yeah, I that's haven't true. really, like, asked for questions ahead of time. Mm -hmm. I haven't been doing that either. So it'd be like, I used to have an the agenda. Same format of, like, nothing very serious, but more like, here's the deal every Friday at 4 15. Or we have these segments. Ah, yeah. Or, I don't know, it just feels like a more work. I like this. More serious drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I can get real serious about the drinking part. <laughs> Which means you could do a segment being like, this is what this wine actually is, and this is what it means. Because, well, here's the thing. You I did the know. podcast. Yes. Like, when was that, two weeks ago? Yes. I feel like you kind of liked that. It was actually fun. Once I figured out how to do it, it wasn't bad. It was scary at first. but So, yeah. I don't know. I think maybe... It's more for you, you know? Oh, for me. Yeah. <laughs> Love that you're making this seem like it's like a gift for me. <laughs> Everything I need is a gift for you. <laughs> okay. uh, but I don't know, I just thought maybe... I like how we don't talk about this off camera. Yeah, no. I mean, apparently we're having a workshop <laughs> with everybody. We're just going to workshop this. We're, we're going to workshop this now. Right now. Uh, 
anyway, my, my whole the whole thing that got me on this was we like we pick like what we're drinking like the minute beforehand. And in the past, people were like, "Can you let us know ahead of time?" So if we wanted to order something that you yeah. guys are gonna be trying. We can all try it together. Also, we never actually do any actual tasting. We're like, oh, here's some wine. Let's drink it. Have a nice day. But I think part of it is because we have. I personally don't have a refined palate to give you. You don't have to have a refined palate. The whole point is you don't have a refined palate. So let's talk about how you're feeling in your mouth. Okay. So I'll tell you this. This is not champagne. It's Prosecco because champagne is too icky for me. But why are we toasting? I don't know. Are you kidding me? We're always here doing this. You because it's Friday. It's our live thing on Friday. Gonna so, smush your face. Oh right, well, here's a big thing. So our lives are gonna be coming back to somewhat normal again uh, because uh, we accepted an offer on our house last week. Uh, is that what we doing? What were we doing last Friday? We didn't do this last Friday, did we? I was. I really sad. I'm sad with work. You're at work. Yeah. Remember? No, yeah, but whatever. You're working. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, so Saturday, we, last Saturday, we did the offers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So house will be sold at the end of the month, next month. What day is this day? It's still April? It's still April. It's still April, yeah. So it's next month. April. Yeah, next month, the house will be sold. But the, the good thing about it being to that point is like, I'm done going there and wasting my life. Well, not wasting my life, but like spending all my week moving stuff, driving around. So that's allowed me to get back to, you know. Real content? You know, getting, you know, real things. So, like, the people that complain that this, this is all we do can stop complaining about that pretty soon. They'll find something else to complain about. Mm -hmm. But at least I'll, maybe I won't have to hear that as much. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Regardless, I have a lot of videos I have to finish editing and releasing, so. Right. Which I feel like that's the thing. A lot of people are like, hey, buddy, remember when you were a woodworker? <sighs> so do I. <laughs> I mean, it's like I share in the frustration that these people have. Yeah. Because, like... I've been in the shop for like two months now, mm -hmm. and the videos that I shot when I was in the shop during that time are still in the backlog. Yes. So I have, was 15? I have 15 videos that are shot <laughs> that have to be released. Which also, he doesn't have an editor anymore, so if anyone knows anyone who's an editor and knows woodworking, yeah, we went, so send the, email. Um, I've been working with the editing team at, through our agency, and that's been good. It has. The, I, you haven't told I mean, me. They they did one and it was it was fine, but it was also an easy one because it's a Sama video, so it just gets assembled. There's no like nuance of is this relevant to the video and should I cut it? See, that's a problem. That's why it's like I could edit it. Let's just say, but I actually because I'm not a woodworker, I don't have the same eye to be like, oh, this part is important, and so it might look like to me whatevs. But to a woodworker, they're going to go, I needed to know that that should be in the video. Yeah. So like having a woodworker actually edit it adds a lot more value. And Matt's old person that did it is not. Yeah. So anyway, I don't know. I'm playing with that. So they're taking a few of the sound videos to kind of see how that goes. I'm kind of coaching them through that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just basically running through everything else because I'm pretty fast editing my own stuff but it's still not fast, like so, in the grand scheme of how much you get done in the day. But I would say like opportunity cost. If there's someone you know that wants to be an editor and is good at it and woodworks, they should send an email to Matt and CC me because then it's it'll get responded to. Because <laughs> then I'll respond to it or make him respond to it. Um, and then that way we can look at that because otherwise like Matt, yeah, he's fast and stuff, but I think about it more as like an opportunity cost. Should he spend an entire day sitting in our basement editing a video when he could be out making more content? I mean, I still have to finalize them. Okay, so we won't hire someone then, even no, though you're saying you wanted to. No, I'm not saying I, I don't want to do that forever. I'm just saying that, like, just because mm -hmm. the I don't expect or anticipate an editor to give me a video that is 100% done well, that no. I don't have to look at. I don't think anyone should that. I don't think that's, that. that's not in my mind because regardless, it's still going to take me a an hour to finish the cut, finish the edit. And then after that, it's going to take me at least an hour, another hour or two to get it ready for release. So there's still three hours per video in there. That's fine. It's more just, I just like this comment. What's up my party people? <laughs> but I think it's more just a, 
knowing if there's someone else that you could have a lot more that, you know, the first five hours, 10 hours, whatever it takes to get down to that one hour, I'm just going to do a quick review and then get it out would be nice. So there you go. Why no? You know. Mm -hmm. So to the questions about the sale and conditions, I'm not going to tell you yet because we don't want to. It hasn't closed yet. It's not closed yet. So it's not done. But once it is. We have no problems with everything. Well, most, first of all, I think sometimes people forget like public, like property sales are public. Yeah, but it's like work to like go out there and look. Yeah, I guess. But, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we'll let you guys know everything. Well, everything that you care about, I guess. If you want to. I don't know. So, yeah. So, Numbers. <laughs> May 28th, after that date, then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But for offers in the house, we got like 21. Yeah, and, the hardest part is that there's so many. Yes. And they all were higher than we thought. Which is good. because Which uh, is good. I was a little worried that all the time I invested there was going to be for nothing. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. at least there's that. Although... Yeah. I still probably should have been working instead of spending that much time there. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 you know, in like real logical sense, mm -hmm. it made zero sense for me to be there. Yeah. Now that we realize like people's conditions matter. Yeah. I should not have been there. <laughs> I should not have done anything that I did. <laughs> <laughs> he was with a different eye. Um, so we have a super chat from Out of the Woods. I like that name. That's a good one. All right. <laughs> Editing is why we were up late every night. That was like man's life for years. Yeah, until we started having an editor. Mm -hmm. And then I started like not working at night. Yeah. But editors do not get a percentage on the video. At least maybe not any we've worked with. Matt just pays them hourly. Yeah. But. And believe me, you wouldn't want that more than the percentage of the yeah. video. <laughs> <laughs> like, you will make significantly less money. If you look at it like, let's just say like percentage of the video income like in terms of AdSense, any video I have edited for me, I lose money on. Yeah. I never make any money on any videos because the amount of AdSense revenue that comes in for that video is less than what I pay the editor for that video. Yeah. And yeah. then, you know, I don't have any, my time's worthless too, so why the hell not? Yeah. On top of that. I'm going to tell you, right now this video, you kind of looks like you're starting to get a mullet. Me? I have a mullet. I know that. I didn't notice until this I very did. moment. That's why I told you I need a haircut. Because I'm at this point in my life where the <laughs> the back and the That's sides go faster than the top. Also, I was like, are we in a country music video? <laughs> like, Billy Ray Cyrus, what is going on? Like, it is you like that? very melody suddenly. I'll I that, did not we'll notice. Tuck that in back there. Mm -hmm. How do I look? The same? Yeah. Uh, yeah, not as bad, to be honest. Um, I told you in a haircut. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. So if the house sold so quickly, I'm guessing it was underpriced. Well, I don't know where you are, Mark. In Minnesota, and I don't know if this is... I don't know how far this housing craziness is, but in Minnesota, houses are selling at a ridiculous rate. Inventory is super low. Yeah. Right now. It and is that like first time home buyer price range or like downsizer price range, mm -hmm. very low inventory. Yeah. And actually we priced our house higher than for sale than what our realtor wanted. <laughs> Cause yeah, like he was, he was not too happy about that. Yeah. In the beginning. He was like, I want you to price this. And I was like, no, that's not enough. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's going to be higher because Matt just spent a bunch of time there. And I was like, it has to be, it has to be higher or Matt will just be so upset. So yeah. Um, so how many acres do we have now? Here? Yes. 22, mm -hmm. 968,000 square feet. Wow. <laughs> It's a fun way to look at it. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like the inventory thing is also true in central Wisconsin. I think it's I, like a lot of places. I think it is. That's the one thing I'm kind of worried about for renovations. We're going to have nowhere to go because there's nowhere to rent either because that's also true. Um, oh. So. Yeah. Well, it be a little more fun adventure for us. It might be. It might be. We'll just, All right. We'll, well, I, don't know, I don't know where we're going to stay. I'll, yeah. think, I'll come up with something. So yeah. From Ben, it looks like it's crazy almost everywhere. So. Yeah. It's kind of insane. I mean, I would not want to buy a home right now. No. All right. So yeah, Jack's saying in New Jersey, they're selling 20% higher than they were just a year or two ago. Yeah. it's That's about right. About right. About about same thing here. Yeah. Which is bonkers to me. From like last fall even. Yeah. It's weird. Oh, I actually kind of like this from Jake. I say go all in on the mullet. <laughs> At least for one video. I, oh, I kind of am on, Paul. <laughs> I'm on board with that. The only... 
Wait, the problem I have with that is they have to go to the salon twice. I know, we can cut it once. I can cut a mullet. I don't trust you to cut the top of the hair the right way the first time. That's so true. That when they cut the mullet off, it all matches. We got to go to Nielsel and have my friend who's a beautician do it for you. Why? Is that cheaper? <laughs> well, at least put the money in a friend's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for me, like, I, I just generally don't like going because like, then you got to have these weird conversations. Oh, that's right. So if Michelle does it, you don't have weird conversations. I would you prefer know. that, actually, yes. Yeah. <laughs> than like, having to explain what I do for a living every day. Every time. All right. Every time. That's because you don't go to the same person, so that's it. Um, so yeah, Jake, that's a maybe. That's a solid maybe. I did the mustache last year. What's funny is that like Matt forgets that he cuts his hair in like an unusual way, like his mustache, and then he'll go out in public. What? So oh, he cut like the yeah, yeah. Cause I don't think about it. I'm like, oh yeah, I have this stupid thing in my face. Right. So he had like I don't know a handlebar mustache or something at one point, and he went out to Menards to get something he needed. This is like five, ten. Yeah, years we didn't ago. have masks on. Yeah, this is years and years ago. <laughs> and so Wouldn't be as funny now. Yeah, no, no one would know. <laughs> <laughs> How would they know? It would mean nothing. All right, here's an actual woodworking question from Thomas. Okay, I'm ready, Thomas. All right, Matt, how should I cut short pieces of maple logs to make a table? Short pieces. So if you're going to be like, like end join them back together, let's talk about that, I guess. Okay, let's do it. Because they're going to be too short. I'm assuming they're so short that you can't get the full length for the table out of that. Mm -hmm. So at that point, it really doesn't matter because you're going to be like patchworking the boards together to make the tabletop. Think like a wood floor, but a tabletop. So it doesn't really necessarily matter that they're going to be like a uniform length or a standard length or whatever. I would just cut them at whatever length they already are so that you have some kind of thing to work with. Okay. Yeah. So that's what, just don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Just don't. <laughs> I don't know if that's, good, if that's a good answer or not. But yeah, don't, don't worry about it. Just cut them as they is. As they are. As, as they, they are. Is. Wow. <laughs> it's been a week. The bubbly's been, gone right to his head. I've been staring bubbly at a computer. Stuff. Like, I'm not like used to that anymore. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I was like off doing other things. You forget like how draining it is. Just like look at a screen all day. This eye has been twitching all day. And I Googled it. And it's like, you might be having looking at screens too much. And I'm like, I am. I am. Because <laughs> then when I went to drive, You're having an aneurysm. Yeah, when I wasn't dry, when I went and drive today, I was it wasn't doing that. And then I come back, sit on my computer, it starts shaking again, and I'm like, oh my gosh. I think you should go back to like using a quill. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of work. But less screen time. <laughs> less screen time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where did it go? Oh yeah. So here's another question from I'm gonna say his name's Joshua. That's a guess. <laughs> <laughs> Guessing at names. <laughs> Guessing at names now. How are the chair sales going? All right, they're going. Can you please elaborate? I mean, I haven't had enough time to like focus on them and promote them at all. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's going slow, but at the same time, I'm okay with that because I have enough other things going on right now. Mm -hmm. So there's that, I guess. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of inventory still of like certain chairs, which is like, I think more than anything, it's been interesting to like learn, like I think we talked about before where it's like, We've like learned a lot. It's been almost a year mm -hmm. that they've been for sale. And it's just been like interesting to like learn all like there's like you have this idea like, let's sell like ready to assemble chair kits. Mm -hmm. That sounds like something. And then there's like all this nuance to this idea and this concept of like, okay, cool, you have this kit. So we like learn how to like package them efficiently and get them out the door and get them to people without them like being like destroyed because mm -hmm. they're heavy as well. Right, and then, you know, your only employee retired yeah, my, my employee slash retired. quit, that's her. Yeah, I got I to gotta get my refund for my uh, workers' comp insurance, yeah. which I don't need. Um, <laughs> uh, and then, like, the same... You know, stuff like that. Like, he had to be like, oh, my gosh. Like, he hired this lady. I hired this lady. <laughs> my mom. And then he's like, well, I need workers' comp. And then... <laughs> like, I take out a policy on that. All that and stuff. And there's, like, minimums. Yeah. So it was... God, how much was it? It was, like... Two grand, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, they only like two grand. Yeah, well then you didn't pay my mom either, I think. Maybe you have paid her, I don't know. No, she didn't want to be paid, but I can pay her. I mean, it's not like it's a big deal, but. <laughs> yeah. There's like stuff like that, like, oh yeah, now I gotta like actually like insure myself for these things. Right, <clears> because you don't, and then it bites you. Well, yeah, also like I'd be in violation of my lease there. But oh yeah, there's that true. too. Um, but that's like besides the point, like the actual product, then you're like, okay, like, well, what, how many should I have on hand? 
right. like, well, how much inventory should I have? Which one should I have? Should I even sell these ones? Are they even people going to buy these? Mm -hmm. So what I did when I did the inventory order is I used the sales data from the pre-sales mm -hmm. to order that giant package oh, of yeah. chairs. So I'm like, okay, well, if it sold this many units during a pre-sale, I mean, theoretically, proportionately at least, it should sell kind of the same. It should have the same distribution of sales. Right. Nope. Not even accurate. No, I have some products that have sold zero. <laughs> like, they sold, like, decently well in the pre and zero. Right. For ones that sold not well, I think two sold the least, and that sold, and like, the, the best. And then the least, uh, the, the number twos, are now, like, one of the best sellers. Right, but that was the least they was, bad. It was, one of, like, on, like, the far end, like, when we went to go work, I'm like, I don't even think I'm going to, I'm going to discontinue these. Right, like, why should I keep twos? I, I, want I, them. Shouldn't, I shouldn't even have these in stock, is, like, what's the point? Right. No. Uh, but it's like, <laughs> apparently, people now like them? I think it shows that you just had too small of a sample size, probably. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's, I mean, it's fine. That's just part of the adventure. Right. But I don't know. It's been, it's, it's different. You know, physical products. Very you're not, different. You're not upset about it? What, what have you said? About I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Like, you're not disappointed. No. No. I mean, like, I, I went into it as, like, this is going to be several years of learning. Right. And so you're on par. And growing that product line. Mm -hmm. Then again, I haven't had time to grow the product line either. But speaking of. David wants to know, is there an ETA on the armchair kits to add an arm to the chairs? I have the arm right there. I've Grab been, it. I've been working on not doing it. <laughs> so we're going to have a ceiling in a garage that no longer I've been working on matters. putting up a ceiling in a garage, which I didn't really have to do. But you know what? The new owners will be appreciative. I don't know. Unless they tear it down and turn it into a shop again. Which is <laughs> hilarious. That would be actually funny and then also sad. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually have them. So I have them in inventory. I have not done any of the, the sales material or the uh, instruction materials for them. Because mm -hmm. it's like the other thing is like, oh, cool, I have this thing. I need to like tell people about I gotta, it. I like, got to like, now you can buy this. Also, here's how to like use it. Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff on like this end. Right. Great. You had it manufactured. That's like hurdle number one. Yeah. Cool. Uh, how are you going to like tell people like this is an option to add to any chair? Right. And this is like how you, how you install it. And then also I need Pretty. hardware kits that oh, include right. the hardware for these. So, yeah. Anywho, I'll be working on that again. Sooner than later. Very sooner than later, because I got a lot of these I got to sell too. Like, these aren't free. Yeah. I know you bought them. Of course I bought them. I don't know. They're sitting here. I thought those were just your templates. No, you I got... You made that. You could have. Why? How I could have made everything. But who got oh my god. <laughs> Just two pieces. I didn't even assume there's like hundreds. You made two. I mean, well, I mean, there's two for this chair. Every chair there's four yeah, pieces, and then mm -hmm. I order enough for I think ten armchairs for every single style okay. and every single species. Mm -hmm. So what is that's like fifty? No, hang on. No, it's like a hundred. That's two hundred mm -hmm. of these. Mm -hmm. I think my math is really bad today. It's a lot. It's a lot. All right, so what else? Yeah, this is a good point. Scaling a business is hard. Can't do it all yourself, like editing. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> I don't think you should try to though. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the big thing too about learning about any business is realizing the value of delegating when possible and delegating to the right people. You gotta find those people. Yeah, it's finding that, the people. That's like the most annoying part, I think. Difficult. Difficultly annoying part <laughs> is like, this would be cool if just like some magic person would just deal with this. Right. You just haven't found that magical fairy yet who can like <laughs> answer all those problems. They'll be here time. always at any point. You can ask them to do this and they'll take care of it. You don't have to worry about it at all. You've done perfectly correctly the first time and you never have to worry. <laughs> it's the magic fairy thing. There you go. I, don't, I doubt that exists. There are some employees that are probably that good, but we haven't met them yet. We don't really, yeah. Especially your mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, from Patrick. Question for Matt. Have you ever used framing clips for your minor joints? Curious if you have an opinion on them. Framing clips? Yeah. Like frame. I'm picturing a picture frame. I don't know what a miter joint is, but it's a joint that, you know, pushes I'm not, two I'm things not really together. Sure what a framing clip is. So I think the answer to the question, Patrick, is no. I, I have not. And his opinion is none. Uninformed. I'm assuming they're like the, the like pinchy clamps. Is that what that is? 
can't oh, give clips? you. Oh, clips? Framing clips? Like, not give you more. Like for picture frame, like the things you put in the back? Mm -hmm. I have not used those either. Mm -hmm. see, maybe that's what that is. Full yeah. no. The answer is no. <laughs> I have not. <laughs> My other drawings usually get tenons. Okay. Unless you want to get like decorative, then they get splines. Okay. From Nicole, I just started following you for a few days ago and I'm trying to get started in woodworking. I was stoked reading the metro area and then noticed you moved. <laughs> Are you still in the area? <laughs> It was so cool, and then you weren't there anymore. Now we're still here, yeah. We just moved to the other side of the metro area. So we're in the Stillwater area. Yeah, we moved from uh, Brooklyn Center to uh, Stillwater area. Well, to Grant. To Grant, just mm -hmm. outside of Stillwater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like a 10 minute drive into town. Mm -hmm. Which so I did yesterday to get pizza. <laughs> yes. Downtown Stillwater. Yep. It's pretty nice down there. It is nice. I've worked down there, well, not downtown, but I've worked in Stillwater for almost, what, eight? Nine years now? It'll be nine? I don't know. Oh my gosh. You've been a lawyer for a long time. Yeah. And so it's kind of crazy because I'm like, oh, I've worked around this area. So I've been to like the restaurants for work and whatnot, but I've never lived here. So it's just kind of weird being like, yeah, I've gone to the grocery store because I wanted to get lunch. And now I'm like, oh, I'm actually shopping there. Yeah. I think driving down there yesterday is like the first time I'm like, this is where I live now. This yeah. is weird. <laughs> it is weird to think about. Just because like, okay, this is, this is where I go now. This is my drive into town. This, mm -hmm. is, this, this is happening now. Right. Versus, Even though we lived there for those six months, but it's never, it hasn't really hit me yet. Yeah. I don't think it's going to like be like super real until like we close. And yeah. I'm like, you can't go back to that house anymore. I mean, we can, but then it could be trespassing when I go there. <laughs> Just, what, what are you doing in my house? Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm just being nostalgic. I'll be like, I built those floors. And they're just going to be like, get out. Get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Which actually is kind of cool. Our neighbors across the street, we're really good friends with them. They actually have already met the people that are buying our house. So that's kind of cool. And they said they were really nice. And the day that we like signed the paperwork, within an hour, they were at the new house, like taking a you know picture by the for sale sign, sold. And I was like, like, we did. Just like we did. Everybody <laughs> should drive by our house and take pictures by the sold sign. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but I thought that was like, that made me feel really good being like, okay, they're really excited. They're pumped. Yeah. And then our neighbors said they're really nice. So I was like, well, that's good. I'm glad. Yeah. That was very important for us is like to sell to someone that would like be a good neighbor. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. All right. So they must be from Stillwater. Leo's or Nelson's? I don't, where's Leo's? I know where Nelson's is. That's someone that gives you the ice cream that's like child size and it's a size of a child. And that's it's true. super cheap too. It's like three dollars for ice cream and it's like a pint when did we go there it was like your six birthday. years ago yeah for your birthday i don't know where leo's is though so i'm gonna have to say nelson's because i like that <laughs> we don't get out a lot not yet mm -hmm. oh this is just a nice comment from fred from alabama enjoy your channel good entertainment oh thank you fred that's super nice so what are we doing this weekend nothing not true even a little bit staying home that's true Oh, we're at the gala this weekend. There you go. Which is weird, because it's online. It is. Okay, what's the gala for? I'm so used to being in person. The Habitat Humanities fundraiser thing that you kind of like do something with every year. Mm -hmm. For a long time you've been doing that. Yes. Although it's always more fun to go in person though. It is, but yeah, they have to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know where Leo's is. It's that corner. What corner? It's the one that's downtown in the corner by the bridge. I just know where that pizza place is. I know exactly where this is. It's farther down. Um, any case, yeah, so Habitat for Humanity. I've volunteered to be on the community to play in the gala for like probably as long as I've been on a lawyer. So like what, nine years? You started in like 2012. Yeah. And Matt We're always donates something. So this year he donated one yeah. of his Minnesota cutting boards. And then we donated like oh, some wine and like made a little basket. Yeah, pretty light year for Matt's donations. That's true. Last year was chaos boards. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna raise that much this year for my yeah. Minnesota board. My sister donated a blank baby blanket that she knitted, and it is so soft and it is so beautiful, and she'll she should probably garner a lot for that because it's whoever gets it they are so lucky. It's such a good baby blanket. It's gonna be a lucky baby. I wanted to, I was like I want to keep it, and then I was like one you don't need it. We're not having any more babies in my baby. Yeah, no more babies for you. And also we have so many blankets that like it's not. You don't need more blankets. You don't need more blankets. But it's just, it's so soft. And my sister never made us a baby blanket. <laughs> Doesn't need to. She made, 
Okay, but my sister. Okay, that she is. She made me a hat with the with the beard thing. Lauren has made us so much th things. She did not need to make us a baby. She's made all of us except for me because my dad did. Our um, very proud. She's made us all very proud. <laughs> our Christmas stockings. She made all the Christmas stockings for I everyone. Know. I know. I have one. Yeah. I like mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. I get to see it like. Mm -hmm. A few weeks out of the year. Anyway, so it's habitat. Oh well, yeah, that's what party. We're talking about. And Vanessa and Aaron are coming, and their two daughters, which. Eloise is very excited for Ivy to come because Ivy is a baby. And so she's like, baby, Black Ivy? <laughs> she's so, like a baby, like, lover. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. She sees a baby, it's hers. <laughs> so. Hide your babies. So anyway, if you <laughs> go to, if you just Google Twin Cities Habitat Gala, you'll find the auction and anyone can bid on it. And it says they won't ship, but we will ship the board if you won. By we, you mean me? Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Okay. All right, just checking. Just checking. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, everybody out of state that wants a Minnesota shape board. Well, you know, maybe they used to live in Minnesota. Maybe they have family in Minnesota. Maybe they collect boards of states. Mm -hmm. That could be a good market for somebody. It is. The board collectors. <laughs> also, Minnesota is an amazing state. So why would you not want one? It's got a built-in handle for boarding. Exactly. Yeah. See, we thought this there. We didn't. Also, what else is happening this weekend? Do you know anything that's going on in your life? Even though you know it. Oh. This weekend? What's happening Saturday at noon? Yeah, I really don't know. JR is having his first official like, oh, that doesn't, like, play date. Like, it doesn't involve me. It, it does. I'm not dating the play thing. <laughs> I'm just so excited for him. He's having a little friend from school over. It's the first time he's ever, like, invited a friend from school over. Every other time it's been, like, he's played with other kids, but it's, like, we're friends with the parents, and they bring their kids, and then he's friends with their kids because of that. Like, we weren't involved in this friendship. This was a self-made friendship. I'm just so... It's growing up. I know. There was a baby. Yeah. All right, what else do you want to tell us? Maybe what else do I want to tell you? The life. What life? Yeah. That's about it, man. I've just been... Plugging away Lindsay and knocking out videos, you know? Yeah. What's up, Robert? So then, when is your next video coming up? Mm. Well, if you're on Patreon, you got one today. That won't be off like a month. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> because it's the video that's like, it's the last Salma video I'm shooting at the old house. And guess how many Salma videos occur before that? And things that happened there at that house before that. Is that why yeah. you're... So I because if I release it early, people are like, what's going on? I don't know what's going on. I don't understand how things can like not be in chronological order. Okay. I'm serious. Okay, you little snot man. Getting snotty. That's Listen. what happens when you do this for like seven years. You get like, snotty? And you read the same like snotty comments. And then you're like... And you get pulled into the snotty world. And you go, I'll be snotty too? Snotty begets snotty. Mm -hmm. Or something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably next week sometime. Probably like three videos next week. <laughs> oh. All right, let's see. What else we got? Oh, this is a great question from Peter. When am I going to start keeping chickens? I ain't doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be fun to have chickens. Matt just does not. He only would want ones to eat. Yeah, because I don't have to worry about them for only... I don't have to deal with them for eight weeks and then it's over. Is that at all? Are you serious? Yeah. How old do you think chickens are that you eat? I have no idea. I've never done it. So I have zero idea. You eat chicken all the time. No, I don't know how long they're alive before you eat them. I don't know if they all die of old age. And I don't even know how long a normal <laughs> chicken lives, to be chickens honest. Chickens die of old age and then they become food? Well, for serious, I don't even know the average lifespan of a chicken. Eight, eight weeks, if that. Okay. Is that eight weeks without any, like added hormones just like they get naturally fat enough in eight weeks after that they're they can't live why can't they live because they're too big they why? die because their hearts aren't big enough or something like that they have so much breast meat they can't even stand up so there is hormone no it's, they have genetics they're bred to be meat there is no way in heck i don't think you understand anything about like meat production i'm sure that i don't <laughs> But what I'm saying is, like, <laughs> like, no way I can believe that 
A hundred years ago. I don't know, a hundred, this is now. Well, I don't want chickens that are have been like mutated. I want original chickens, the original version. They'd be this big. That's fine. I don't think he, yeah, okay. <laughs> It's called crossbreeding yeah, no. and like selective breeding. Which I shouldn't. Which you have a dog. I was just about to say, I have a dog, so I have no. Selectively bred to be like not able to be alive. She's beautiful. Okay, we do have another super chat from Aaron. Again? So, yeah, for an editor so you can get more content. I'm not hiring you. <laughs> Why not? You have a real job. <laughs> you have a real job. <laughs> Editing is a real job, Matt. I like that one. Um, oh, all right. So also from Zach, a super chat. Happy Flirtatious Friday, Cremona. <laughs> I like that. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's time to be some other kind of show. Yeah, Matt's only going to do some flirtiness to everybody. Just you. Mm-hmm. In public. Yeah. Just me I in like, public? I like you. You like me? That's probably good we're married. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Physical things. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> You're ridiculous. That's what she said. Yeah, that is what she said, because I'm the she. And I said it. You're welcome. <laughs> Perfect setup for you. So yeah, but I agree with Peter. Like, I would want chickens for eggs. Matt wants chickens for meat. And they're two different kinds of chickens. Well... I don't want to do the work. I think... Everyone's like, they're easy. They're not. In your head, they're hard. There's something else you got to deal with in your life. Mm -hmm. I've got enough things to worry about. He's crabby. I'm not crabby. Mm -hmm. I just know, like... This is like, I know I'm a dad now, where it's like, all the dads are like, I'm not getting you a dog, because <laughs> you're, you're, you're not going to walk it, you're not going to pick up the poop, you're not going to feed it, because you have to do all those things. Uh -huh. Me. You just want to play with it. Yeah. I got to do all the work. I want to play with the chicken, and collect the, see, our friend actually down the road, he has chickens, so, and honestly, I could probably be like, hey, can the boys and Allie come over and play with your chickens, collect it, and we'll pay you. And then that's we get fine. Our, and we get our chicken fix. That's why then Matt's like, other people have chickens for eggs. We'll just get chicken for, for meat. Or none. Or, or, none. or none. I would say none because I don't want to kill them. It'll make me sad. You eat them all the time. Yeah, but it's from that farm. So I know that they're nice to the chickens. Yeah. It's still the same thing. No, it's not. You still eat them. Yeah. They still have to die. Yeah, in a ethical way you can kill them in an ethical way of course you can and you should but they do you do you get to control how that happens yeah but i don't have to be like part of the process so i don't need to be great <laughs> <laughs> oh okay this is a good question though um about chickens because it's related it's a question about chickens i don't David, about, though, like i don't think about chickens you know this answer oh okay don't worry um from david do you guys have to worry about coyotes in your part of the country yes yes so we would have to worry about that but you know what though? Those turkeys are doing just fine. And they are fat. Yeah, they roost. Oh, they're so fat. But they're like No, I understand hiding. they're up there. But That's like so they go up there. Yeah, no, but they like hang out, you know, they I'm they probably don't like roost on our roof or something. They maybe do, we don't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> we have turkeys. Uh-huh. As pets. Oh yeah. Basically. <laughs> the kids love them. Pancake actually I took her out to go potty yesterday and the turkeys were right there and she started to run and I told her to stop and she did. She all listens to you. She would never listen to me. Well, I thought they would kill... Turkeys are mean. I didn't want them to bite her. Or peck her, I guess. She'd be like... Psh. Yeah, that's a problem. Didn't even feel that. Yeah, but then she'd keep going, and then they'd all... She would not win, but she wouldn't <laughs> give up, because she's a fighter. And so I was very worried. Yeah, probably. All right, from Buffalo Eddie. Did you get the diesel tank loaded up yet? No, i got to do that for real. Mm -hmm. Like, legitimately. Yeah. Because that, uh, that towel handler, like, it drinks a lot. Like, mm -hmm. it's almost gone through a whole tank already. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a 35 gallon tank. Mm -hmm. And I don't really want to fill it up with five gallon jugs. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of. I would need a lot more lot jugs or a lot more trips back and forth. Yeah. So there's that. Mm -hmm. I much prefer to just fill a diesel tank. And then hopefully, like, in theory, like, I could buy, I have a fuel company bring off road diesel because, like, we're still not like far enough out of the country where that's commonly available at the gas station. Yeah, no. Because we're just... Because like even when we live in Brooklyn Center, people are like, you should use off-road diesel. It's cheaper. I'm like, you know what the, how far I have to drive to get off-road diesel? Mm -hmm. It's not worth the cost savings. Right, all. but now we're closer. There probably is one. I mean, probably by Mike. 
Scandia? I guess I could drive all the way to Scandia, but it's still like 15 miles where the quick trip is five miles down the road. Yeah, that's true. But if like a trucking company is bringing you 200 gallons, yeah. then there's some like... Value. Legitimate value. Mm -hmm. The only downside is that I can't put it in my truck. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I gotta see what the actual cost difference is. What are the taxes on diesel? Yeah. I don't know. 20 yeah. cents a gallon, maybe? Oh, but Glenn does say, put a new filter on the diesel tank. Oh, it needs like a hose and a filter <laughs> and, all of a, it? and a nozzle. Mm -hmm. The hose is like completely dry rotted. And I haven't gone up there and like actually looked inside the tank to see if like, mm -hmm. you know, if it's like hopefully not full of water and algae and garbage. Yeah, they probably, yeah. We'll it's probably been touched. I mean, they probably did nothing. So as long as it was sealed. Yeah, I don't know if it needs to be cleaned. I'm sure it does. I don't um, know, but it'd be nice. Uh, why not get a tank for the back of the truck? I could do that. I wouldn't keep it in the truck though. Oh, okay. I would just fork it on and off. There you go. So the, but the thing is like, I have this diesel tank out there already. Yeah. And it's 200, no, it was like 300 gallon tank? Is it? Gallon? I don't know. I don't know. It's I a lot. I think it looks beautiful. It's I like a lot. It. Like it makes more sense to just use that than yeah. to be trucking back and forth. Mm -hmm. yeah. Plus that those are, that's there already. Yeah. And the truck one's like a thousand dollars. Oh my God, no. No, we're fine then. We pass <laughs> on the truck. <laughs> All right, Jamie, I actually really resonate with this. So, killed my first chicken at four years old. Farm animals are there for a reason around here, whales. People say if you're unwilling to eat it, clean it, and butcher it, you should consider not eating it. So, I actually, I've hunted. I've killed deer. Oh, here we go. What? I did. I've killed deer, and I had to field dress it, but I've never, like, done more than just field dress a deer. That's, like, the majority of the work. Yeah, I know, but... Oh, I know. Of like the me. gross work. It, I sweat. And then. I sweat. It was a lot of I was work. so sweaty. <laughs> it was, it's hard. It's not easy. And then in school, you would get extra credit if you brought, you know, some different organs. So this I, is how I knew you live like way the heck out. In the, yeah. So the then what I did is I put the heart in my pocket. Yeah, where I would live. It's like someone's going to jail. Yeah. So because I, I put the heart <laughs> in my pocket. Somebody's getting arrested. And then the, because I didn't have a plastic bag because I was dumb. And so then, of course, it bled all the way through, ruined the pants, ruined everything. But yes. um, you covered it up and said you got your period. No, I didn't do that. That is not what happened. <laughs> Even a little bit, but I did. I'm get trying to make the story more interesting. I feel like it was interesting enough. <laughs> that said, I do think that's fair. That's why I try. I mean, I'm not perfect because we do buy meat sometimes at like Cub or something. But we are. If you're in the Twin Cities area. You should consider, um, there's this meat club we're a part of, and it's pretty good. Oh, it's a meat club, all right. Yeah, Matt likes you that. You know what I mean? Oh my God, no. <laughs> 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 but um, that was Matt's present for, I forget what, Valentine's Day? No. Meat club for Valentine's Day, if you know what I mean. <laughs> God, now you're just <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> this is the true Matt. This is his true personality. I can't help it. Yeah, yeah. I'm a child at heart. Yeah, also like everywhere else. And everywhere. <laughs> You're always, uh... Oh, interesting. Jason, my parents got an angry call when I took a chicken foot for show and tell. Oh, yeah. No, that would totally be normal in my hometown. Like, my friend's dad is... Was, like, the, the large animal vet. And so, like, she would always come with different bones and stuff to, for show and tell. Cause... My dad did a bad job. Here's a bone. <laughs> we don't sound like that. <laughs> It didn't work out. <laughs> you know, he can't. Uh, he can't win them all. He can't save every animal. <laughs> Here's a cow's head. <laughs> it does sound like Sorry, Nikki. <laughs> I mean, guy, you are great at what you do. Uh, oh man. Except when you weren't. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> all right, so I have to go up. <laughs> this is so true. Matt, Matt is getting feisty now. Yeah, he is. That's all how, right. That's how it happens. Watch as I'm for the first time ever. Matt just gave me crap before we started this. He's like, you've never turned off your mic. And that's why the batteries are always Are there dead. even any other questions? Maybe. For me to answer when you go up? Well, you'll find out. You Ask all your woodworking questions right now. Oh, dressing a deer that tastes guts. I know, that's pretty clever. That's a good one. That's a good one. Every woodworking question you can ever think of, make it super hard so it doesn't know the answer. Or we're just <laughs> one question and that's it. But I'm going to turn this off because he always complains that I don't. And this is proof because it's live. Well, I mean, it's a good thing they were chargeables. That's true. No one heard me, even though they did because I talked too loud. All right, until next week. Happy woodworking. Oh, man. All right. I mean, it'd be nice if you actually like, picked one for me so I don't have to like sit here and stare at the screen for... Just talk about fun stuff, like your life. 
I mean, they, they try to do that, and then I undo a lot of it. So there's that, I guess. She should probably like, actually pick a question for me to like wrap this up with. Now that we're taking this seriously, as she closes the door, completely ignores me. All right, last question. When are you going to make more chaotic cutting boards? I don't think it's been long enough yet. I haven't quite forgotten the amount of work that they were. So probably going to be at least three more years <laughs> until I forget how terrible it was. Oh, man. All right. Have a fantastic week, everybody. I'm going to do whatever we said we're going to be doing this weekend. Do some more editing and hopefully get you guys caught up to present day because... I think the next video you're going to see is from last October. <laughs> uh, they're, they're pretty far back there. So, all right. I'll see you later.